an amazing sense of humor. He was funny. Everybody laughed at Paul. And him and his brother were, were very close. As a little boy, Paul Tilton dreamed of being a firefighter. They were outdoorsy kids. And they would play outside and pretend, you know, go get the truck, get the hose, bring it here. His mother, Linda Hunter, says as a teen, Paul was what you'd call a man's man. He played football, he played baseball. After high school, he followed his dream and became a fireman. I was always very proud of him. But in 2011, an on-the-job injury turned Paul's dream into a nightmare. Well, he was at a fire and the stairway fell in and he went down with one other fireman and they both ended up in the hospital and he had a neck injury and the doctors started giving him opiates for the pain. That prescription for painkillers led to an addiction and when the prescriptions ran out, Paul found relief in heroin. With the support of his family and fellow firefighters, he tried to kick the habit, going to rehab multiple times. He came home from rehab one time with 10 prescription sitting at the table. I went, this is going to work. But he never found recovery. Nearly four years after the injury, he died of heroin overdose. It was accidental. And it was, we found out it was heroin. Um, very quick. And nobody was home. So why do some people become addicted and others don't? It has to do with neurobiology. It might have to do with genetics. It certainly has, can have something to do with the environment. I think there's a big piece to where this has, is about managing emotion. And I would say the biggest one, for, at least far as the recovery goes, is how do we do relationships? John Daly is the founder of Drug Abuse Treatment Center's Recovery Happens. And he says one of the biggest risks for addiction is early age alcohol and marijuana use. What's happening now is People enable them, they go, it's, a, it's kids will be kids, boys will be boys, it's a phase of life, it's a rite of passage, it's only alcohol, it's only marijuana. Well, no one starts with heroin. They start with alcohol and marijuana. Preteens are most vulnerable. The average age of onset today is 12 years old. So, and it usually hides for two years before a family finds out. Daly says if parents suspect alcohol or weed use, they need to take action. But as soon as they find out, they need to get that kid and themselves educated with the clinician that understands this issue. Back to those who are addicted to opioids. Daly says there is hope. When I was a kid in the 80s, it was a death sentence. You either died from the heroin or you ended up in prison. And today it doesn't have to be that way. With treatment and ongoing recovery, the brain can repair itself. The brain starts to heal, the mind starts to heal. Next month marks the one year anniversary of Paul Tilton's overdose death. His family is still healing. When I dream about him, he's usually one of those pictures, the crazy little boy that's goofing off all the time. Healing and hoping other addicts seek help, support and recovery.